How would you alter or improve rabbinical training? I have, I've given this a lot of thought. Let me just mention one area. When I speak to rabbinical students, I tell them all the time that the single most valuable commodity you have as a rabbi, you can answer that yourself and then I'll tell you what I think, your voice. Most people are going to come in contact with you when you speak to them. Not all of them, but most. There'll be more people who come to your services than the number of people at whose bedside you will sit as they die. And yet, most rabbis, most people, don't know how to speak. That, and that training, which is given, we have homiletics classes, but the ability to communicate what words to use, what examples to use, how to train your voice so that people can understand you. How often have you been in front of speakers who you have to tell them 10 times, put the microphone closer, please, I can't hear you, right? That ability is woefully underrepresented, I think, in the rabbinic community, and it is, uh, it's very much to our detriment. 